Hi there, Sean Sturbo, Warranty Manager here at Charleston Homes. Today I just want to take a few minutes and talk about electrical outlets and GFCIs and arc fault circuit interrupters. Down here in the uh, furnace room, we've got a sump pit and then the, uh, the pump, which is plugged into this GFI. The GFIs for the sump pumps are on their own dedicated outlet. Uh, basically, again, if it's not working, that illuminated light's going to be on. It's really good practice after heavy rains, uh, snow melts, a lot of lightning, um, just to come down and double check to make sure your sump pump is on and that GFI hasn't accidentally tripped. While we're talking about sump pumps, we want to dis discuss with you about the sump pump itself. It has an unknown lifespan, so it could last anywhere from one to five years. It's common practice every two to four years to get those switched out. Um, but the biggest thing is to make sure that sump pump has power going to it, and that's by checking those GFIs that they didn't accidentally trip. From time to time, we get calls or emails from our customers asking why their treadmills won't be supported by our electrical system. And the simple reason is most treadmills run between 11 and 15 amps for operation. Typically, most rooms will have a 15 amp breaker, or in your kitchens and bathrooms, it's a 20 amp breaker. If you are planning to use a treadmill, our recommendation is to have a licensed uh, electrical professional come in and install a 20 amp dedicated breaker for that treadmill. If you have any questions, feel free to join us on our website, charlestonhomesomaha.com, or check out one of our model complexes. Thank you.